Hi Grand Junction, my name is Kawaii Fit and I'm a realtor here at Bray Real Estate. Let's talk about staging your house. When you are a seller and you want to have your house seen in the utmost, most beautiful fashion possible, and, and not only the most beautiful fashion, but the fashion that makes, that presents the house in the best light possible for a buyer, uh, there should be, you should do three things. Okay. Number one, the first thing is I say, put your guns and your gold away. You don't want buyers to be walking through your house and see, oh, wow, they have, um, this lady has a whole bunch of beautiful jewelry just right around the corner from her bedroom. You know, you just put your guns and your gold away because those are two very valuable items that we don't want buyers to just know where all of that is and know the quantity or the quality of what you have. The second one is to make it all feel very hotel-like. So when you go to a hotel, you walk into the room and on any of the horizontal surfaces, there's almost nothing on it, right? There's a lamp and maybe a folder that has menus in it or something, but that's it. Um, there is a coffee maker, but even in kitchens, I recommend that to all of my sellers that we keep very minimal items on the horizontal counter surfaces. So hotel-like, right? And also if you weed through your closets and take half of those items in your closets and put them up in boxes and put the boxes out in the garage, that in itself makes a difference because number one, your closets are going to appear like they're, they're bigger than what they are because they're not going to feel as full. So do this with your pantries too. Don't forget pantries and uh, be bath, bedroom closets. And um, then also having those boxes already boxed up and they're already written on the sides of them and they're in the garage, that shows any buyer that you are a serious seller and you are making those first steps as to preparing your house to have it sold and out of your hands as soon as possible. If you walk into a house and there are there's a lot of stuff around and it looks like the people just threw a sign in their front front yard and said, Hey, we want to sell our house. Uh, that gives a very different feel and a very different approach to the buyers. When the buyers walked into a house where they see that these sellers are already getting ready to move out and with the boxes and everything, it, it shows that these sellers are serious. And that was the second one. The third thing to do when you're trying to stage your property and get your house on the market and have it as presentable as possible is to get rid of any family photos that you have around your house. When we want, when we have buyers walk into your house, we don't want them thinking and looking at all your beautiful family pictures and thinking, oh, this family is so beautiful. This family lives in this house and this is their house. We don't want any of those kind of thoughts going through their head. We want them to picture their family coming into your house. They we need to get them to start thinking, oh, our dining room table would look so wonderful in this dining room. Or, oh, we could put our family portrait right here above the mantle. We want them to be using those kind of words. We don't want them to say, oh, their kids are so adorable. And, oh, they have a puppy at this house too. Look at that little family. We don't want those kind of thoughts going through their heads. We want to pick them up and put them in this house. And we want them talking as if they were going to be moving into this house. They don't need to think about your family when they're looking at your house. We want them to fall in love with the house, not with your family. And yep, those are my three tips for staging your house. Uh, there are plenty more dealing with curbsides, cleanliness, that kind of thing on, horse, on um, vertical surfaces, especially like your garbage cans and your front of your dishwasher and stuff like that, uh, especially fridge ha door handles. But that can be for a different video. If you have any other questions, let me know. Again, my name is Kawaii Fit, and I'm a realtor here in Grand Junction, Colorado. Sunny, amazing Grand Junction, Colorado, and uh, over here at Bray Real Estate. All right, thanks.